just had our brunch at Little Cafe. The cafe itself was very pretty and all the cakes and pastries look absolutely beautiful. But unfortunately, I didn't really like them. And I didn't feel like the honey cake was particularly good. And the nougat cake that we had was also quite mediocre in my opinion. I felt like the taste of its chocolate base kind of overwhelmed the nougat taste of the cake. And you guys know I don't like chocolate, so I didn't really like the whole cake in general. In fact, the scrambled eggs was probably my favorite dish out of everything that we ordered at Little Cafe. They do quite a good scrambled egg, I must say. So yeah, that was my experience at Little Cafe. And as you can tell, we are walking in the rain. We have an umbrella, but it's drizzling. We are walking to the Fashion and Textile Museum. There's an exhibit going on, which I'll show you guys in a bit once we reach. But we're gonna check that out this afternoon. So I'll see you guys there. We are here. This is the Fashion and Textile Museum. The exhibit in the Fashion and Textile Museum is titled The Boutique in 1960s Counterculture. It is showcasing the alternative fashion and design trends in the 60s such as psychedelia and bohemia. It also touches on the history of how these trends reached the UK. Do note that you do have to make a reservation online beforehand if you are visiting the museum and you will get a discount if you have a national art pass. It's still drizzling but we walked over to another museum that's really near to the Fashion and Textile Museum. This is the White Cube. Okay, it's not really a museum, it's an art gallery. And I thought you could check it out. The White Cube Art Gallery is free of charge. The current exhibit is titled Lazarus by the artist Ibrahim Mahama. It includes an installation, sculpture, collage, and even a short film. And it represents the history of Ghana. just came out of White Cube and it is sadly still raining. This is Vinegar Yard but we unfortunately won't be visiting it today just because it is obviously sadly still raining. But it looks like it would be a cool place to chill and hang out if the weather is good. So we'll probably come back and visit when the weather gets better. This is the pizza that we'll be having tonight. Bloody tasty Lost Boys pizza. Hi guys, I'm home and I'm gonna share with you guys what I bought at Poundland. First up is this sieve cream in the Winter Sparkle scent. It's a limited edition one and I think it costs one pound for this obviously because it's pound land but no some of the stuff costs two pounds three pounds it's not a standard one pound for everything inside but this was one pound and i'm sure you guys know what a sieve cream is i don't have a sieve cream in my cleaning arsenal right now but i do have my pink stuff cream cleanser which i use to clean the electric stove um, and I think you can use this to clean the electric stove as well. So when I run out of the Pink Stuff Cream Cleanser, I'm going to switch it up and try this out. And the Winter Sparkle scent contains fragrance of spiced orange and amber as well as pine essential oil. I just thought the scent was very Christmassy and festive and I wanted to try it out. So I got that. And... 
Next, I got Biocal um, Spray. Biocal is basically a spray to prevent or get rid of lime scale on your shower head or on your sink heads and stuff like that. Basically, on any metal surfaces that would possibly have lime scale build up, you just spray a little bit of Biocal. Don't let it sit too long because it may corrode the metal surface just spray it leave it for about one or two seconds and then wash everything down with water and i got the fresh sand i think the fresh sand is a collaboration between biocal and fabrice yes it says here <laughs> there's a fabrice logo and i've heard that the fresh sand is really much nicer than the original one so that's what i got i have been having some difficulty cleaning or rather making the tap heads and the shower head look shiny so I thought I would try out Vicel. Next I got a shampoo from Herbal Essences. Nothing interesting about this, it's just their daily detox clean line and this is in the scent Golden Raspberry and Mint of which both scents sound amazing on their own. I love raspberry and mint scents anyway so yep. Looking forward to trying that out. And I also got two shower gels. They are both from the Imperial Leather brand. And they are in very funky scents. This is the Moon and Sparkles Unicorn Dust Shower Gel. It's limited edition. Is this focusing? Okay, great. And the other one is the Pink Lychee and Raspberry Shower Gel. This is also limited edition. Very funky scents for both. Imperial Leather typically comes out with a lot of limited edition funky scents and I'm on a mission to try all of them. <laughs> and then lastly, I got three Fabulosa products. Two of them are this spray and wear disinfectant. I really love this stuff, especially when you have to wear a lot of sweaters and coats on a day-to-day -day basis here and sometimes you don't get the opportunity to dry clean your coats every single time so you do have to re-wear them a few times before you put them in the wash or bring them to the dry cleaning service so in between wears I think it's really helpful to spray a little bit of this spray and wear disinfectant just to kill any bacteria or germs that may get on your clothes this is the cinnamon swirl scent and I feel like it's just a perfect scent for fall and winter, so I got that. And the other one is birthday cake. As long as there's a birthday cake scent, be it in shower gels or hand cleansers or shampoos or even candles, I have to have it. So when I saw that there was a birthday cake scent in this spray and wear disinfectant, I had to pick it up. And because I love the birthday cake scent so much, I got the... Birthday cake scent all in one disinfectant spray. This is my second bottle of the Fabulosa disinfectant spray. And unlike the spray and wear one, which you would use on clothes, you can use this one on fabrics around the house, such as sofa, um, I don't know, toilet bowl, dustbin, um, doorknobs. Basically, hard and soft surfaces that you want to disinfect around the house, you can always pick this up. And it says here that it kills cold and flu viruses. So, yep. Oh, and I forgot to mention the prices. Um, the Biocal spray, this cost £2. And the Herbal Essences shampoo cost... Two pounds as well. There are two shower gels. They cost one pound each, so that's great. And you get quite a substantial amount. There's 400 milliliter in one bottle. And for the Fabuloso stuff, the disinfectant spray cost two pounds. And the Spray and wear cost 
two pounds each. That's everything I got from Poundland. Hope you guys enjoy watching my little haul and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow. We're gonna go somewhere really exciting for drinks tomorrow and I'll take you guys along with me. Get it straight and simple to you people. I want to know where the bottle I found come from and make sense. You go fire. Wilma, you gotta go through me. You gotta go through everybody in here. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 you, uh, you suggest some sort of physical altercation here? Yeah, have them, Bob. Come on. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, a uh, Wilma. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe I could use you around a little bit longer. Uh, how about you get rid of uh, Cassidy right there? I think you can uh, shove your job up your butt, sir. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about then? You get out of here. You don't use nah, me. Screw it. Okay. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. bagels from the different stalls this one is from the bagel shop and this is from bagel bake so let's try them both and see which one fares better we ordered the exact same thing we ordered the salt beef bagel with gherkins is from the bagel shop and it tastes really really good the gherkins are super fresh and not too sour the beef itself is super soft and it's very easy to bite through I really like it now I'm gonna try the one from bagel bake oh, I want to check it up oh it's really good as well I can't decide I think the beef from Bagel Big is slightly saltier. It's got a lot more seasoning. It's not as soft, but it's still quite tender. Mm. Yeah, I think I prefer Bagel Big in general, just because the taste of the beef is a lot stronger. And it's a lot more seasoned, so you do get this salty aftertaste, which I prefer. So although in general, I do prefer Bagel Bake over Bagel Shop, the serving size for Bagel Bake is actually a lot lesser, so you get lesser meat and lesser gherkins for the same price. Hi 
guys, I'm back home and I thought I would give a quick rundown of how our day went today. We basically spent the entire time in Shoreditch. This afternoon, we visited the Alcatraz Bar. It was such a fun experience. I've never been to any theatrical bar experience like the Alcatraz Bar before, so it was quite exciting to be honest. Basically, the Alcatraz Bar is a prison cocktail bar experience. They model it after the actual Alcatraz in the States. So the inside of the bar, the entire interior is that of a jail. And everyone who goes in has to don your orange prison jumpsuit with your own individual number. And you get to drink cocktails and have an immersive experience because they are not only actors who are performing as prison wardens and fellow inmates, but they also actually try to involve us. Um, so they'll give you stuff to do like um, filling up forms that indicate your crime, your alias, your... Um, preferred duties in jail, so it could be library duty, it could be cleaning the toilet, it could be laundry and stuff like that. And they'll actually put you in front of an actor who's acting as a prison warden and he will try to interrogate you and stuff. So it's a full-on immersive experience. And at the same time, they will give you cocktails. Each person's entitled to four cocktails. So basically how it works is that you have to pay a ticket fee and you have to bring your own bottle of liquor in. So it could be gin, whiskey, tequila, whatever you like. And then based on the liquor that you have brought in, they will make four cocktails for you. That's the maximum anyone will get regardless of how much liquor you bring in. And whatever leftover liquor you have at the end of the bar experience, they will return it to you. So I think we got about a two thirds of our gin bag. We brought a bottle of gin in. But because we were sharing a cell with another couple and they brought the killer, we get to try different cocktails. We still get four cocktails, but they could switch up the liquor base of the cocktails. So we had gin base as well as tequila base cocktails at the end of the day, just because we could share it with the couple who was in our cell, our cell as well. And yeah, it was really fun. The actors were all very, um, how should I put it? invested. <laughs> they were really putting up a great performance and trying to make all of us feel as involved as possible. And obviously because you get to wear that orange prison jumpsuit, it's great for taking photos. And yeah, that's basically how our Alcatraz bar experience went. If you're interested in going, you do have to book your tickets online beforehand. When you order your ticket online, they will email you your criminal record and it's really quite a detailed one where they will tell you what you're arrested for, the name of your arresting officer, your date or sentence, which cell you will be put in and basically some of the arresting officer notes and if you're ever in London or you haven't been, I do recommend that you go for it and just experience it for yourself. And I think I'm going to close out the video here. Do remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.